Well, good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing good out there and wherever you're at. Yep, a little update on what I'm doing on the sauna tubes, pylons. Here's the first one, the hole's dug, it's two feet deep. It's going to have three of those rebars sticking out right where that orange line is on top. That's the height. And if you follow that diagonal, it's exactly 46 feet, 7 inches, 40 feet long by 24 feet deep. And there's 26 pylons going in. We're going to run them uh, every 8 feet, 6 by 6 logs. And then we're going to pin them to the sauna tubes. Steve down there is going to be cutting on them here pretty soon. And what it is, is how we're going to bolt it on there is we're going to use these. These anchors. Two feet uh, on the rebar. Going to go in and we're going to bolt them to the 6x6 six six and get them going. We just got done raining two days here, and I mean, it came down for two days. A little bit of the property down there. It's beautiful out here. I like the sun. I like the cloudy days when it's raining to cool everything off. But man, I'm telling you, it's, it gets pretty humid out here. So, here's... I tilled this the other day. You can't see it. Let me see if I can find them here. There's one right there. Wherever the camera is, right there. There's a whole bunch of them. These are collard greens, and they're heirlooms. Right after the rain is when these things start doing really good. Now these are lima beans. Yep, these are all lima beans growing here. They seem to be doing pretty good. Some are real light and some are dark. I don't know exactly what's going on. But here, I got my watermelons. They're not, we use, something's eating them. I don't know, we'll see how they survive. But here's some more lima beans. Some are a bush, which means bush. And some of them are pole, which you need to uh, put them on a pole so they can travel up them. And down here, you can see two days ago I just planted those. Those are collard greens. Here's some more watermelon. Let's go back down here. And of course I just tilled all this three days ago, planted them. The rain came. It's right after the rain is when these start coming up. Let's see here. Where did I see them at? They're just little baby ones. Let's see here. There's some right there. They're coming up. They're coming up. I probably got several hundred. Look at these ones here. They're coming up. All the way down there, looking beautiful. This is down the back side of the fifth wheel. Of course, you got the road down there. It's burning some trash. The property goes way back there past those power lines. And that, <coughs> the, uh, I don't know. The powers that be are going to take down the internet tomorrow on Friday, which I really don't care. It's supposed to come back up. Maybe it does, and maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does, or maybe it doesn't. I guess they're going to be sending people to homes to see if you've been inoculated. 
that would be a mistake here. So here's one of the, uh, I cut several of these now. My God, I did that with a chainsaw. Look at that. That's pretty good, huh? Let's see here. Let me turn this thing up. Not too bad. I need to get a uh, table saw so I can make these things true. Down here, Steve's going to start cutting those six by six, six by six by eight feet. And we're going to start putting them on these pylons. I'm going to cement them. Put those anchors on them. Start bolting them down. Let them dry out up here. But here's some of the logs I got. Look at the size of that sucker. She's pretty big. She's probably 18 inches by 18 feet. And I've got more down here that I cut. Um, Got my chainsaw underneath there. Got some extra fuel. Uh, and I got all these logs. Now there's a whole bunch of trees down here. There's a few that I was been looking at about dropping. There's two of them right there. There's one in the back back there. I don't know if you see it. The third one down there. Man, you see that? You guys see how beautiful this is? Man, just listen to that. There's two of them right there. I, I wouldn't mind dropping. And they're probably 50 feet. They're longer than 50 feet. They're probably 70 feet and probably 18 inches around that one. But that one down there is probably 20 inches. And it's... It's pretty tall. But if I drop them, the problem is, what angle am I going to drop them? Because here's my oaks. I don't want to drop them in my oaks and tear them up. Get off me. These bugs are brutal out here. I got those hunting scarves that go over your face. When you're out here working, you got to wear them. I just bought some on Amazon. They're the sleeve ones to cover your sleeves because I am eating up, man. Eating up. It is brutal. That's the cost of being out here. Man, I wouldn't give it up for nothing. Got this company they hired me on. Did the background check. Of course, everything's good with that. Now they're waiting to hear back from Social Security so I can start work. And my God, it's been two weeks. You know, these people just don't want you to work. Make any money. Be self-sufficient. So, I'll, meanwhile, while I'm waiting on that, I don't step on those plants. I'm going to keep growing this. I'm going to go get some water tanks. Probably those plastic ones with the metal around it. I'm gonna paint them. Cause you know all water tanks are all, they're always all dark. Well, it keeps the fungi out of it and stuff. So I'm gonna put one there on top of the shitter. <laughs> I might even have to, have to dig an outhouse, who knows. And I gotta go, bye.